on your coach to get take care of getting you a college scholarship? Good question, and this is this is going to range between. There's some high school coaches that do a fabulous job of helping their athletes, and club coaches that do a fabulous job. Um, others will do next to nothing, and, and others will, uh, and sometimes even hurt the chances of, of an athlete uh, going on to play in college. Uh, my advice on that would be to go and sit down with your coach as early as possible. As soon as you decide that you want to play college sports, have a sit down with your coach and say, uh, "Hey." I want to play in college. I don't want that to interfere with with me as a high school player. I want to be the best high school player I can be. I want to help your team, and you know, and so on. But I want also want to play in college. Ask them for whatever help they're willing to give, and be thankful and appreciative to them for any help they're willing to do. You have to remember that these these high school coaches are uh, usually also teachers. They're usually also husbands or wives and fathers and mothers, and they're getting paid next to nothing to coach you, and they have. 25 or 10 or 30 or 50 of you and your parents that are looking at them to help them out. And a lot of coaches get so overwhelmed with recruiting that they just shut it down and they just say, I'm not dealing with it and they do nothing. Um, or they only help the kid that, you know, is the elite division one athlete and the other kids get left behind. Uh, or sometimes they do things to sabotage, uh, you know, the recruitment. It, sometimes it's unintentional because they just don't know any better or sometimes they just get overwhelmed with the process or they don't want hundred kids come to them looking for full rides to college and they you know they don't have the time and effort to help so use them for whatever help they'll give you but realize it's up to you if you want to play in college it's up to you to be proactive to reach out to coaches and you control this if your coach says to you don't worry about it, you're good I'm gonna pay for your college no matter what it is then I would say just listen to them and just cruise <laughs> if they're not willing to pay for your college then it's probably in your best interest to take a proactive approach to the recruiting process. A lot of coaches will, I mean, a lot of times because they don't know any better, will just say, you know, don't worry about it, the coaches will find you, or recruiting will happen during your senior year, don't worry about it. And what they really are meaning is, I don't want distractions to get away from my team right now. I don't want you thinking about college, you need, about, you need to be thinking about being a better high school player. And there's truth to that. You do, you do not, you, you don't just want to be thinking about college while well, you're not even good enough to be a productive high school player. There is some truth to that. But if you really do want to play in college, you do need to get started early and you do need to be proactive in that process. So take whatever help they're going to give you, but you have to do something on your end um, to, uh, and not just rely on them to get yourself recruited. And the other thing I'd add to that too is that, and not to harp on high school coaches, but as a college coach, I don't really care, unless this high school coach is like, you know, my twin brother. I don't really care what they think about the kid. I want to make that evaluation myself. Now, I'm not saying I don't respect them. I do respect them and I do trust their opinion and so on. But I want to watch that kid with my own eyes. And I want to make that evaluation myself. So, you know, what can your coach do? You know, if I call up the high school coach and the coach says, well, this kid's a jerk and he doesn't work hard in practice. I'm not going to recruit him because I, I trust that he sees him every day. But if he says, you know, hey, he's the greatest player since, you know, sliced bread or whatever, I'm still going to watch him myself until I say, you know, I want to recruit him. So uh, I'm not to devalue the, the high school club coach's role in the process, but it, it's just one small part of the process. Go to sportsmentaltoughness.com to get your free video training and guided visualization MP3 on how to perform under pressure. I'm Craig Sigal, the Mental Toughness Trainer.